In this exercise, we're going to work with a little bit of Google Earth and see if we can add a terrain that we can find in our own backyard. And from that terrain, add some detail, detail of the terrain, and, and, then, um, and then put a little cabin up in the woods. So let's get started. To find these tools, we're going to go to File, and under File, look for a link that goes to Geolocation, and we're going to add a location. And for us, we're going to add a location that's, well, close to home, which is just south of Spokane, Spokane Valley. So I've positioned this white square over what we call Eiler Creek Conservation Area. And I think that's the area I want to, uh, to search in. So I'll kind of center that. I'll make sure the rocks are there. And we'll click. Okay, then click. Once we've once we've done that, this is this is the square we can move around and capture a space. We can still zoom in if we want to. So if this is too big, like like if you wanted to remodel your house or change what's on your lot, you could zoom in and see all of your neighborhood um, uh, by just changing this, making this smaller. But we're going to capture this because we want to put a cabin in the woods. So we're going to grab. Let's grab this part right here, and I'll just click a grab so it'll capture that. And there we have a 2D version of it laid on our screen. But that's boring. So let's add and make an actual terrain out of this. To do that, we'll go back to File. In File, we'll find Geolocation. And this time we have more options, which is Show Terrain. And that's what we're going to do. Click on Show Terrain. So now the actual terrain elevations have been superimposed underneath our actual um, or our, our actual photo of that Google photo okay super now on this if we were to zoom in we would find that this is still kind of blurry because we really don't want it to be any better a better picture because that would be a lot of data and would make our file really large but if we want to build a cabin in a certain spot let's say I want to build it well on this ridge right here I want that detail to look good so to do that let me get the select going. I'm going to center there, take a look at it, see if I can recognize it looking straight down. Yeah, that knoll right there. I think that's where I want to have my detail. Um, I go back to File, Geolocation, and add more imagery. Now in here, we're going to see the actual area that we were in, and I'll need to, have to, I'll, I'll need to spot this. So I believe that what I'm looking at is right here. Well, whether it is or not, that's what I'm going to go after. Yeah, right in here. So I'll zoom into it. I suppose I could have had the same orientation. In other words, turned in the same direction so I could better spot this. But I think I'll go for this ridge right here. And I enlarge this window so I can see the buttons for select region. And it doesn't have to be too big. Something something like this will be fine then I'll, and I'll grab that so what I've done is I've grabbed or I've chosen a space to add more detail and as I look in it looks like I did pretty well that space does have more detail it looks like the elevation didn't quite make it so I wonder if I can get even more detail yet for the actual building site which is going to be right right around right around here let's see if we can do that File, Geolocation, Add More Imagery, and we're going to zoom in. Now, if, if I'm still in the right place, where are my little ridges? I believe this is where we want to be. I'll expand this window so I can see where it says Select Region. Well. I think we're close enough. We'll grab this. It will overlay it on top of our map. And it looks like it's pretty close. OK, so now we're ready to actually put in a cabin. So I'll rotate this a little bit and take a look at my cabin site. And we'll draw our cabin right into this. Now, if we had our cabin pre-drawn, 
we could just import that and then using stamp place it right in on the foundation but since we don't have it since we didn't save a cabin as an as a model of something that we can bring in let's just draw one and that'll be your next next uh, assignment